What's up, a Cinema Shogun here, and I don't know if any of you all have noticed this yet, but the East Palestine, Ohio train derailment is already starting to be memory hold. And you know, I wish I could say that there was this dark agenda that is silencing the story and is making people no longer talk about it. But in reality, they've already shaped and molded our society. They have already shaped and molded people's brains into quickly moving on from things. So while people are already moving on to other news stories, while people are looking at the footage from January 6th and people are watching Chris Rock and Will Smith go back at it, the reality is, for the folks in the small town of East Palestine, Ohio, this situation has not gone away. It has not disappeared. They are still left there looking for answers, wondering why this catastrophe happened to their town, wondering what the future holds for them. Because right now it does not look good. Now the situation hasn't gotten any better. And much like a, a good cut of steak. This situation is marinating. And as the situation marinates. Just like a good steak. Your marinade's on there. And the marinade. As you. Have your steaks sitting there marinated in these juices and flavors and sauces and, and spices. And the marinade starts seeping into the meat. That's what's happening in East Palestine, Ohio. These chemicals are marinating within the soil, within the water, spreading through the air. Miles and miles and miles. And the further these chemicals seep into the ground the worse this situation will get. Now, I talked to you all about this before, and we've talked about it a few times, actually. But we know that they have been out there doing testing for the various chemicals that are out there in East Palestine, which I can tell you right now, we don't even know how many chemicals are out there. They've listed quite a few, but I can guarantee you there are probably more. But we know they were testing for certain chemicals while not testing for others that they should have been. In fact, they were ordered that, hey, now you have to test for, or you have to test for dioxins. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a chemist. I'm not a nurse. So forgive me if I'm, little, I'm a little rusty here. But when it comes to these dangerous dioxins, you can test people's blood and see their dioxin levels, if you will. Now, living here in America and living in 2023, we all have various levels of dioxin within us. From the pollution that we breathe in and what have you. But it's always been a thing that if you want, you can go to a lab or a clinic or wherever you can talk to your doctor and you can get your blood dioxin levels tested. You can get your blood taken so they can come back with a report letting you know your blood dioxin levels. This has been a thing for years. For years. Until now. Until this East Palestine, Ohio train derailment. Now all of a sudden... People are having trouble, and it's not just in Ohio. Now people are having trouble getting their blood dioxin levels tested. And in fact, a lot of people out in East Palestine, Ohio, are complaining about this. You see, you see they're getting lawsuits ready. They're keeping track of what's happening to their health. And there's going to be a lot of money paid out. This situation is going to drag on for a very, very long time. And if you pay attention, 
there are already changes being made right here in this country to make sure that certain corporations aren't held as accountable as they should be. They're making sure that the residents of East Palestine, Ohio, and the way it looks right now, the residents of anywhere, they're making sure these people can't even test their own blood to find out how they have been affected by these chemicals. I want you all to watch this firsthand account of a woman who, who talked to her doctor. She was supposed to go get her blood um, tested. And here's what happened to her. I want you all to take a listen. Hey guys, so today something very monumental happened. I spoke to my primary care doctor and over the weekend and I said, listen, I've had exposure to the chemicals. My dog has had exposure to the chemicals. I had all the symptoms that were listed. I really want to get my blood dioxin level checked, just like the town hall meeting, the lawyers suggested residents do, and anyone that thinks they've, they've been affected. So my doctor looked around, found a lab called LabCorp, which was one of the labs that was listed that does this. And the thing about that is it's going to be a national thing that every lab corp should have those codes to test for the blood dioxin. So this morning or yesterday morning or whatever it was, um, his assistant called LabCorp, got the script. They sent it over. So here's the script. It says blood dioxin on it, right? It was approved as of yesterday. The lab tech said she can come in and, and we'll do it. So they faxed it over this morning. I went in to get the blood work done. I sat down at the desk to get checked in and the gentleman that does the blood work said, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but for some weird reason, it's been discontinued. We no longer have authority to take your blood and test it for dioxins. And he said, this is weird. He's like, I just did one like a couple of months ago. Um, we've been doing it forever as far as he could tell. And so what he did at that point is he said, can you tell me the name of the labs that were in Ohio and Pennsylvania? I want to give them a call. So he called the labs. He spoke to somebody in customer service, and they said that they also are not doing any blood dioxin testing. Um, they have no idea what he was talking about when it came to the East Palestine um, community and them getting their blood checked, their urine checked, at least the people he spoke to. So at that point, we were very confused. He started calling multiple labs for me um, to see if they could get me in. Um, and nobody is doing this blood dioxin test anymore, which is very strange. They're not doing it. Um, you know, I smell something fishy here. And I think anyone that hears this is probably smelling something fishy too. This is very strange, okay? And it's frustrating because I really wanted to get that test so I could see what my levels are. Because over time, you know, in a few months, it's not going to be the same as it is today. So um, we're working on trying to get another lab to do it. I called the East Palestine Justice Hotline number. I spoke to a gentleman there, I reported what's going on, told him of my exposure, told him of my situation today. Um, it was quite alarming on his end. So he sent the thing over to the lawyers. So my message to anyone in East Palestine or Pennsylvania or anyone out there that thinks they have been affected by this um, disaster and is trying to get their blood dioxin levels checked. If you are successful, please let me know. If you're also hitting a roadblock, also please let me know because this is very interesting. So this is the level of shadiness that we're dealing with here. This is how far these people will go to bar people from finding out the truth. Not only finding out the truth about the overall situation, but finding out the truth about what's happening to you within your own body. This is a, a, a common procedure. I, when I say it's a common procedure, I don't know how common it is. I've never gone and gotten blood work done for the sole purpose of knowing my blood dioxin levels, but now I'm curious. Now I'm curious to know what they are. But this is something, what I want you all to understand, this isn't something that's unheard of. This isn't something that's rare. This is something that people have been allowed to do for years. You go get a test and, and, and you don't even think nothing of it. And now all of a sudden, various labs and corporations and medical um, experts and whatever are all of a sudden, oh no, no, now we don't test for that anymore. Sorry, we don't test for that anymore. We were testing for it last month, before February 3rd, yeah. 
But after February 3rd, we decided, hey, you know, who needs these tests? We should stop testing for this stuff right after the biggest, like, chemical disaster that we've seen in America in years. Right after you know <laughs> that not only the people of East Palestine, Ohio, but the people who are affected by that situation, which, make no mistake about it, people all over the place are going to be affected by that situation. But directly, even directly, there are people for miles and miles and miles, miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles, and miles, and miles away from the Ohio train derailment that are having health issues. There are people who are living hours away that are popping up with rashes, that are reporting weird things with the snow and the, and the rain, and they're having chest issues and breathing issues. So all of a sudden now, now, oh, we don't test for blood. We don't test blood dioxin or the dioxin levels within your blood anymore. So basically, the powers that be, the powers behind this situation, have gone so far to cover this stuff up that they're making sure that you can't even find out what's happening within your own body. A common procedure, and it's not even what you would call a procedure, common blood work being done, okay? Common blood work being done. They're ensuring that U.S. citizens, Americans, can't get this blood work done so they could know more about their own health simply so they can cover up what they have done to the people of East Palestine, Ohio, and undoubtedly what they're going to continue to do to the people of America overall and people all over the world, if you will. Now, this is really messed up. It's really scary. And I wonder how far and wide this reaches. Like, I understand that they're barring people probably from in Ohio and East Palestine and in Pennsylvania and these areas from doing these tests. But if you tried to go get tested tomorrow and you lived in California or Texas or, or somewhere far away from this area, would they still not allow you to do this? Have they shut this down nationwide? Or, they, or have they just shut this down in a certain area because they know they want to hide what happened to this area? Those are questions that we can answer ourselves if we look into this a little bit more. But for now, I think this should open people's eyes. If your eyes aren't already open, this shows you the extent that they are willing, like, like the length they are willing to go to cover their own asses the length they're willing to go to make sure that you never know the truth, even if it's a truth about yourself and what's happening literally inside of your body. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. Though. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.